Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the new features and changes rolling out on Windows 11 build 26010 from the Canary channel. These improvements are not tied to any specific version of Windows and Microsoft can choose to roll them out through a regular update or a feature update. Also, the company can cancel this feature at any time. Okay, let's dive into the new changes for build 26010. First, let's look at Copilot. In this update, we are going to find that we have a new button on the top right that allows you to pin and unpin the interface from the desktop experience. And that means that when Copilot is not pinned to, to the desktop, it will not interfere with your other applications. And, and for example, you can snap two windows covering the entire desktop. Now, if you pin Copilot, now, when you try to snap two windows, Copilot will stay on top. Now, regardless whether you have Copilot pin or unpin, when moving around windows, you can now switch focus between the two. Just to give you some context on the current version of Copilot, Copilot is always on the top and you cannot switch focus between the two. Also, whether you have the Copilot pin or unpin on the desktop, you can now resize the width of the interface to give you more space to work with a chatbot. Also, this is not specific to build 26010, but if you haven't seen it, Copilot now supports plugins and you can access the settings from here, clicking this button. And on this page, you're going to see all the plugins available to you. At this time, I only have the plugin for search, but in the future, you will be able to see other plugins. And those plugins are for other services that the chatbot can connect to. Another change that you're going to find on Windows 11 build 26010 is on quick settings. Quick settings now uses an interface that you can scroll up and down to access all the different settings available to you. So you will no longer find the option at the bottom to edit the buttons that you can see on this page. So you can now scroll up and down or just click the pages that you want to go to. And that's how the buttons are going to show on quick settings moving forward. As part of this preview, Microsoft is also updating the widgets board, more specifically on the settings page. You will now be able to configure your interests for the news fee right here within the interface without having to open the browser and go into your Microsoft account to control your interests. Also, and perhaps more important, now on the settings, we have the option to turn on and off the news feed. And you can do it by turning off the Microsoft Star toggle switch. And basically, now the news feed is gone, but you will be able to show your widgets. So let's add the watch list and spin that one. And let's add the sports widget just to give you an example of how that looks like. And apparently when you turn off the news, you won't have the option to full screen the widgets board. So now let's just go back and enable the news fee. And as you can see, now we get the option to see the experience in full screen mode. But if you hide it, you do not get that option. Finally, Microsoft is also updating the Notepad app in two different ways. First, on File Explorer, when you right click a text file, you will now see an option to edit directly into Notepad. And the second update is about the characters counter that we have on the application. As you can see right at the bottom left corner, we can see the total number of characters on the file. And even if we select a bunch of characters, we're going to see the, the number of character for that selection. If you're not selecting anything, you will see the total characters on that specific file. And that's it. Those are pretty much all the biggest improvements that Microsoft is adding on Windows 11 build 26010. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.